Alright guys, what's going on? It's about 6 p.m. Just got off work uh, about two hours ago. I actually woke up really early this morning and tried to do some painting before work. Plain air this morning is a failure, but at least I got outside, I guess, and, and gave it a shot. So I'm trying it again, I'm trying to find something to paint in the evening. Always looking, trying to keep my eye open for something new, something exciting. Let's we'll see what happens, let's do it. Beautiful flowers here. Morning glory is cool. Check out the painting of Morning Glories video. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out right now. Of me painting some Morning Glories, that was pretty cool. All right, so I'm kind of on this walkway here on this main road. I've never really walked this far on foot before on this road. So I'm trying to just observe new things, try to take in some stuff, maybe hopefully see something across the street here worth painting. I don't know. I don't have much time for light left. Hour and a half or so, but the trees and stuff are going to be blocking it pretty soon. Giant fig tree. Pretty epic fig tree. And I don't think anybody even does anything with it, so kind of a bummer. All the figs just go to waste, but that's how it goes sometimes around here. Really cool pine tree. Really big pine tree. Nice big pine tree across the street here too. Been thinking about painting some palm trees, like the tops of a palm tree. Like just focusing in on the top. Of course, I haven't found any around here, but I, I know there's some somewhere. I just don't know where. But maybe that would be a sketch one day. But I'm not near any right now, so. Love the sycamore trees here. Really beautiful. The cool thing about this road is like the whole road on both sides is lined with these sycamore trees, and they have really interesting bark and leaves and stuff, and you know peels off, becomes white. So far I've seen a few things I could paint. One of these sycamore trees, uh, back in someone's front yard there was a big nice pine tree. Had some nice light coming through. So if there's nothing right up here I'm going to turn back and pick one of those I think for now. Because at, at this point in the evening, at this point in the walk, the sun's just going to set on me. It's just going to keep going. And yeah, we're getting pretty pretty close to losing light. You can see the long shadows here. Yeah, so maybe like a curve in the street going down. The nice light coming across. Maybe something like that. That might work. All right, we're walking back now. We're walking back. Nice fig tree across the street. Somebody's getting some figs, hopefully. Kind of like the sycamore tree. The, the uh, I like the trunk against the darkness behind it. And I like the, the warmth of the leaves and everything. That might be it. I'm gonna see if this pine tree is still in light. And uh, if the light's pretty much gone on it, or it looks like it will be, then I'm gonna do one of these sycamore trees. So there's a whole bunch of them that are, have light on them. So you can pick one of them, should be good. We're doing a tree today, it looks like. Pretty cool, I've never painted a sycamore tree, but I've been wanting to for quite a while. Man, where is this pine tree at, dude? It's a little, a little further than I thought. All right, so there's the big pine tree, but it's right near someone's house, and there's a red car right next to it, and I think it's too ambitious right now for the time of day, because the sun's gonna, I'm gonna lose the light very quickly. It's too ambitious right now. I gotta be realistic with what I can do on that small little sketchbook. So sometimes this is what you have to do when you're outside sometimes. Uh, you know, if you're not in a big city or something, Usually if you're in a city, like there's a lot of things to paint, like there's always just something, but it's like around here, it's mostly neighborhoods and suburbia, basically. It's all very manicured and it's it's hard to, you know, find something that looks kind of natural. <laughs> you know, they, they trim all the trees, they blow all the leaves away. Everything is so manicured that uh, when you try to find something that looks natural or organic or something, it's all just, hard lines, you know, but maybe that's what I got to get used to. Start painting that, start documenting that. All right, I made it to the location where I'm going to do it from. There's the tree. So I got a nice little spot here. Not very quiet because of the cars, but let's do it. guys just finished the sketch lights completely gone as you can see behind me I think it turned out 
all right you know not like my greatest work ever but not the worst either it's kind of just one of those sketches that goes pretty well you know I'm, I'm happy with it i'm okay all right so here's the final sketch i think it came out pretty well overall values are pretty good i think you know the color temperature i think it's pretty much there you know it's hard it's hard to say um but yeah overall i think it turned out well let me know what you guys think down below in the comments appreciate it you know looking at it looks a little bizarre is because the last light that i saw on it was much warmer much more orange and red than when i started it so now when i look at this it just doesn't look right but i know later it's going to read correctly i think and i think the warmth is going to look realistic you guys notice that with your own work let me know what you think or let me know down below let me know what you think down below in the comments. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell icon to be notified for future episodes. I'd appreciate it. Keep on painting and drawing. Don't get discouraged. Take care of yourself. Peace.